All right, y'all, we're back. Uh, measured the piston and locked in the uh, locked in the caliper, and we're here. We are dialing in the bore gauge. We're real, real close to zero there. So let's go ahead and see what the difference is. Uh, to find out what our wall clearance is. Now here's where we were at zero. Each one of those lines is a tenth, so 90 would be 1,000, 80 would be 2, 70 would be 3. We're at about 3.3, 3. 3.2. Here we're just under 3.5. Yeah, about 3.4. So more than enough uh, clearance. Um, one, two, three. One, I'm sorry, one, two, three, and about eh, three to four tenths, depending on where we're at. And uh, it, boy, it's like Dennis said, boy, it really can be super duper sensitive uh, working with this stuff. Um, this is what I found. I want to show you a little of this real quick, too. I've got a digital caliper here. It's a Starrett digital caliper. Um, it shows um, tenths of millimeter, tenths of thousandths as well. I hope you can see that. You see those little lines on the side? There will be when it's all the way at the top, there's nine. And I think then when it goes to zero, that's ten. So uh, that would be, you know, let me find some. There we go. 147, 147 thou and three tenths. This is actually, believe it or not, a pretty darn accurate little gizmo here. Um, I measured the piston with uh, Dennis's fancy digital caliper here at 53.90. Let me show you. Right, 53.90 on a 53.93 piston, which could have something to do with the weather here. Let's make sure we're zeroed out. Okay, and then we'll we'll see how accurate this thing is. Nope, we're on English. Um, let's see. Again, yeah, we're there real close. 5390. And wait a minute. It's kind of hard measuring this round object in here. It really is very, very close. Let me, uh, over here. I'm getting 53.91 and a couple of two, three tenths. So, um, Nine one. Let's do so nine one to. Uh, I got my little list here. Fifty three nine one. Which is down here. Point nine one is uh, two point one two two and four tenths. We didn't. Ha I didn't go so far as to write down a fifty three nine zero. Never went that far down. But um, with a stock bore, that should be three and a half thousands. Um, at 54 millimeter even, which is 2.126 or 2, uh, 2.125.9 at 9 tenths. So it may as well be 6. So um, we, uh, as we can see here, we got we have more than enough clearance. Um, we really usually look for about 3 thousandths. I'm measuring 54.02. Fifty-four oh two. Cool 
5401 and about oh, there we go 5402 so um this thing is relatively accurate uh i think um what i'm going to end up doing in the future is uh is get a um a depth gauge or a, um the uh, the t the t shaped uh, deal where you 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 unscrew the end and it opens up inside your board and then you you rock and roll it and when you get you know you tighten it back down and it holds and then you can measure it with the uh, with the caliper you know and it'll get you close anyway I mean I I don't know if I'd I'd bank a million dollars on those numbers but um, you know as you could see just the, the sun coming through and starting to warm this stuff up is changing these dimensional measurements when you get into tenths of a thousand um everything starts getting a little subjective right so um take notes gray beard says uh don't get too crazy about this i mean we're within a couple tenths you know of where 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 it should be three thousandths to no more than three and a half is where i like to be three to three point two so we're, we're right there um I think the, the numbers are good. We're going to go ahead and, and start uh, playing around with assembling this thing and uh, and get moving on. Thanks, Dennis, for the tools. And uh, thanks, you all, for hanging around and trying to be patient with all this. Uh, uh, it is, uh, boy, it's, uh, it's not easy to do. Uh, hold that thing in there. Uh, you got these little tiny spots, and you got to find one little pad here and there. And, and then being able to adjust that, uh, that dial and the thing just... I can see how you can get frustrated with it. Uh, I don't mind playing with it a little bit, but it isn't something I'd want to do for a living, that's for sure. Um, so, from uh, RPM headquarters, um, got the new head. We're ready to go. We're going to get her going. We're going to check uh, uh, spark plug um, hole volume with our uh, with our barrette. And then once we get it all together, obviously, we'll check the, uh, when we get the squish where we want, we'll check the volume and see what that's, uh, see where that's at as well. But as a factory stock head, I'm sure everything's going to be big. So uh, we'll work on it from there. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. Talk to you soon.